Okay, I will just hold on six minutes now. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Okay. Start. Six minutes. Start now. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I, I am I with Colleen. This is Doctor Noor, one of the child doctor here. Yes, this is Colleen, doctor. Uh, welcome, Colleen. It's nice to meet you. Uh, so, Colleen, I am here to talk to you about your condition today. Uh, do you want anyone to attend this session with you, Doctor? Am I a baby? I'm very. Am I small that I should be meet, having someone? Can't I take decisions on my own? Uh, yes, well, sure, Colleen. I was just asking, maybe you, if you want your mother or anyone to attend the session. No, I'm fed up of the mother and my doctors. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But I feel after our talk, maybe you'll get to know uh, how we are working on your be best interest. Doctor, if you're going to force me for the medicines, which I don't want to take, I please want to end this meeting. Uh, Colleen, Colleen, what I want to tell you is let's talk about this and then we will see how 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 it goes. Okay, is it okay for is it okay with you? Okay, doctor, go ahead. Um, so before that, uh, tell me about your condition. What do you know? Yes, there is something called as Addison's disease that I have been told, right? And uh, I have to take a set of medicines which is making my life horrible. Fine. Oh, okay, Colleen. I just want to tell you, how are you feeling now after taking medication? How are you feeling about your health? If, uh, see, the question over here is uh, not about I feeling... I don't feel like I have to take my medicines so many times. Okay. So, um, so Colleen, I want to uh, tell you that, uh, do you know what happens if you don't take your medication? Has it, uh, do you know, uh, has someone told you? Yes. They tell me that I'll become dizzy. I'll fall down and uh, kind of, you know, I'll my blood pressure will go down. All these things multiple times have been told to me. Uh, yes, you're right. Actually, what happens is uh, when you do, if you don't take these medications, uh, we are afraid that you may fall down and your blood sugar may go down and you may need some emergency treatment. Uh, this is why we want you to take the medications, uh, Colleen. But I know that you are worried that you're forcing you me, doctor. You're forcing me. No, it's not a force. Actually, you have to understand that whatever medication we are giving you or some uh, chemical substance which is produced in our body and which is, your body is not producing it. It's just a replacement we are giving you from, through the tablet. Am I with you, Colleen? Yes, doctor, please go ahead. Uh, so you are, uh, as I understand, you say that four tablets is difficult for you to take, right? Okay. Uh, so, uh, but these tablets has to be taken at the right time. If you don't take it at the right time, they will not work effective. This is the reason we want you to take uh, four tablets. Uh, is it okay for you or do you have any other problems in taking? Doctor, four tablets in a time every day. I for me to remember, I have so much of other things also. Okay, I have to go for party. I have to go with my friends, carrying these tablets everywhere and carrying that some emergency box that you'll have given me everywhere. It's not possible. Uh, I do understand, uh, Colleen, but as I told you, you may have your sugars low anytime and your salts may go low anytime. So your friends also should know about your condition to help you in time of need. So They should uh, know so that they make a good laugh at me? Uh, no, Colleen, not like that. Good friends understand your condition and they will definitely help you. 
so you have to tell about your condition to your friends so that they know and you have to wear a bracelet so that it will help you and uh, good friends will definitely support you doctor science has advanced so much can't you give me just some once a month injection or something which will keep my that whatever juices chemicals that you were telling that level uh actually colin these uh, uh, these uh, chemi- chemical substances we call them as hormones they are produced at a particular time in your body so we have mm-hmm. to give in the same pattern to you this is a just replacement what we are giving you is your body is not producing it and we are just replacing it and it 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 needs a particular time to be given it cannot be given some time for to act better maybe if we don't take it in a right time it may not give you the good response and you may not feel better am i clear colleen okay doctor fine do you have any other concerns no doctor that's it so uh, oh, six minutes time is up how about yeah three minutes left uh, how about uh, referring you uh, i will give you the link of the support groups in which you yeah. see the same uh, pro- the the children with same problem and how they are coping up with and uh, you can feel better with it how do you think about it okay doctor just give me i'll see if i have time uh, okay so do you have any other concerns no doctor i have to go for another party right now Uh, okay colleen going to party is not the problem actually uh, only thing i want to tell you is no let them let your friends and other anyone around you know about your condition and also uh, you should carry your important medications with you and you sh- they should know and you can take it uh, easily this is my thing at the same time i want to give you some information leaflets about your condition and some trusted websites to go through it is that all right okay doctor okay uh, so let me tell you what we discussed today today we uh, discussed about your condition and uh, how can we uh, come up with uh, by taking how can we ta- solve this by taking regular medications four times a day at regular timings so that to avoid fainting and other implications of the condition okay so nice to meet you and also if you have any further concerns you can uh, uh, come back to me any time so i will be most happy to answer you okay doctor thank you thank you but i doubt about the time maybe 6 minutes finish we were just going on going on and I no 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 you have no no it was 6 minutes it's 1 minute still left Okay. One one minute is still. Anyway, just we will stop it. Okay. Okay. Stop no. Yeah. yeah. Actually, the thing is that like uh, a role player don't have I think enough questions. Um. Th- that is why you it felt like um the time was uh not finishing off. I had the watch in front of me. Anyway, Doctor Noor, it was nicely done. The thing is that like sometimes you have to scare the role players. Okay. Sorry, the teenagers because teenagers are really freaky and nasty, especially if you. I mean, if you get a teenager and he's really nasty, you can you have to scare the hell out of them by a single sentence, like you know, uh, and you have to uh, pamper them as well. So there are two sentences which we were taught uh, in the course always use: a bit of a threat and bit of their party. You have to tell them. Threat is uh, like uh, what's the name of a teenager? Like whatever. Like you have been very lucky, but I'm afraid. Let me tell you: if you don't take these medications regularly. you might not be lucky all the time okay and you might even get killed if you don't get take this uh, medication okay because if they go into shock and if their time timely they are not taken care of they can die isn't it so you have to threat them a bit there is no harm in doing it and number one you can simply say yes we want you to enjoy your life and enjoy all the parties you can have but we just want you to be a bit careful okay and by simply taking a medication if you can have fun and you can uh, lead a life like your full lives there is no harm in taking it okay now the f- third concern was she is shy about the friends okay 
another thing which they taught us was like, uh, Colleen, if you allow us, if you give us the permission, we can have a small seminar, not telling you, telling anybody about you, that what is Addison's disease and how it affects and what is the significance of taking medication. So your school your friends can know about it, okay? If you allow, but use this word sentence, if you allow, okay? And then in this way, you can uh, take the medication and they will be more supportive with you and okay. And you have to like, you have to support them. Like you're a very brave person. Like in this age when everybody's enjoying, you are trying to lead the same life, but with this problem and you are nicely doing it. Okay. So uh, never ever tell them to hide this fact from the world. Like even you can even say this thing that even famous celebrities have this problem and they cope with it. There's no harm in having it. They're proud of you having it. And in the start, you can start the scenario by saying like this, like you were very compliant and we were very happy the way you were taking care of yourself. Can you tell me what happened that you're having these uh, recurrent uh, problems of fainting? You can start like this. Okay. I hope I was not talking a lot, okay? Okay, no problem. So I think this, uh, that's it. We discussed about this case before. We will go to the next case now, okay? Uh,